Liverpool found their new Holland. Erling Holland had a great start to life in the Champions League with Manchester City. A perfect fit for Pep Guardiola's team, the Reds are looking to find their own Holland. That name is Noah Okafor. The latest man tasked with managing the line for Red Bull Salzburg opened the score eight minutes after his predecessor did the same for Manchester City. In fact, Noah Okafor is several months older than Holland, so the next tag isn't a very nice term. But few players bloom as early as the Manchester City striker, which is why he was the fastest player to hit 25 Champions League goals. Its Swiss successor in Salzburg may follow a similar path, albeit belatedly. Okafor, valued at £16.2 million by Transfermarkt, put his team ahead against Milan and Salzburg eventually stood up for a respectable draw. It was his fifth goal in 10 games this season. Liverpool scouts in particular will love the fact that he has proven himself on the European stage. It will be remembered that this is what convinced the FSG to leave with a potentially record-breaking amount to land Darwin Nunez. On a smaller scale, Takumi Minamino's impression in the Champions League was enough to convince Liverpool to go for him and he ultimately made a healthy profit. The same policy can still be followed. However, there are risks with this transfer. Minamino has never fully settled at Anfield, which will reinforce concerns about adapting from the Austrian league. Holland refutes this point of view, but not completely. Because the star player used the Bundesliga as a stepping stone. Let's not forget that Salzburg is a Red Bull team. Liverpool's relations have been undeniably good lately. Okafor stands out with more versatility than Holland. He has only played as a forward this season, but has played on both wings in the past. In that respect, he's also good at adding depth to different positions. Despite being a right-footed player, he can still play reasonably understudy for Mohamed Salah. Against Tyrol last season, he scored an irresistible goal reminiscent of Salah and used his left foot to bend from the right edge of the box to the upper left corner. His goal against Milan was very different, but equally good. Liverpool will undoubtedly have to pay more than £16.2 million to tie Okafor to their colours. Ever since Salzburg let Holland go for just £18 million, they've become ruthless dealers. Pat Sundarka has cost Leicester City £23 million despite showing less potential than his predecessor. Benjamin Eco recently transferred to Leipzig for £21 million. Brendan Aronson and Karim Adeyemi also raised a total of £57 million this summer. But if FSG can afford a reasonable transfer fee, there is much to admire about the forward. The return dates of the injured in Liverpool have been announced. Liverpool continue to lick their wounds after their 4 UN Champions League defeat to Napoli. The Reds' bad start to the 2022-2023 season brought new troubles after an infamous defeat at the Stadio Diego Armando Maradona Stadium. Jurgen Klopp had no complaints about the full-time whistle and has now admitted that Liverpool need to reinvent themselves. The Reds were gearing up to host the Wolves at Anfield tomorrow, but Queen too. The match was postponed following Elizabeth's death. This break means Liverpool gains time to heal. Here are the latest status of the injured in Liverpool. Fabio Carvalho. The offensive midfielder suffered a knee injury in Saturday's Merseyside derby. Carvalho remained grounded after interference from Everton's Amadou Onana and was removed from the game at half-time. Klopp was hopeful that the swelling around Carvalho's knee wasn't too serious. However, Carvalho did not board the plane to Naples. Fabio had a large dead leg, which caused some problems with the muscle, so there was no luck, Klopp said. He is walking normally now, but hasn't had a chance to train until now. I'm sure he will get better every day and we hope he will be ready for the next game. Carvalho is expected to return in the Ajax game on Tuesday, September 14. Curtis Jones. The midfielder felt relapsed from a tibia injury that ruled him out earlier this season. Jones' only debut so far was a late backup cameo in Manchester City's Community Shield defeat. Curtis had a stress reaction in a certain bone around the tibia when he was out before. It was definitely good, but it relapsed. It's not as bad as the first time, but it's bad enough not to be in team practice again, which doesn't help much, Klopp told reporters. It is not yet known when Curtis Jones will join the team. Abraham Connate. 
The defender has been unavailable since he suffered a knee problem in Liverpool's last friendly match of the summer against Strasbourg. According to Klopp, Konate needs to get in shape during the international break later this month. He'll be back in training in and around the international break, Klopp said. Konate is expected to return in the match against Brighton on Saturday, October 1st. Jordan Henderson the Liverpool captain was forced out of the game with a hamstring injury in their 2-1 win over Newcastle United last month. Klopp confirmed Henderson will be on the treatment table until after the international break. According to the result of the screening, I think it will be after the international break, he said. Jordan Henderson is also expected to return in the match against Brighton on Saturday, October 1st. Calvin Ramsey the player, who joined the team from Aberdeen this summer, has been unavailable since arriving at Anfield. Liverpool discovered a problem with Ramsey's back and were wary of him as he was still a teenager. Calvin is still out there, but he's really getting closer, Klopp said last week. For him it was something about his back, something about age and growth. He hasn't trained properly with us now, but he's getting closer, he said. It is not yet known when Ramsey will return. Naby Keita. The midfielder has not made a debut for Liverpool this season. He has a muscle injury he suffered in training with a previous illness. Keita was also excluded from Liverpool's Champions League squad. It's a muscle injury, it's going to be out for a while, Klopp said last week. It is unclear when Naby Keita will also return. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Oxlade-Chamberlain suffered a serious hamstring problem during Liverpool's pre-season friendlies against Crystal Palace in July. Klopp confirmed that the midfielder is no closer to returning to availability. It is not yet known when Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain will also return. Last year could be the reason behind Liverpool's poor form this season. Anfield insiders suggested Liverpool's poor form at the start of this season was due to exhaustion from last year's exploits. One of the reasons Liverpool have been holding the rhythm this season is because the players are simply stuck. It is reported that Liverpool played 63 games last season as a big factor. It's also allegedly the effort spent on the remainder of Jurgen Klopp's nearly seven-year reign. For Liverpool players, it is understandable that feelings of physical and mental fatigue are starting to creep in. They played a lot of games last season, each one even bigger than the last. But it's all part of the game. Liverpool had a good enough break to get out of their system before going again last season. A key change or two in the roster should have also helped to add a degree of freshness to the proceedings. In this regard, there could have been a little more change. Liverpool may have sold themselves short in the transfer market and missed an opportunity for a viable fresh start. While some players looked tired when age started to catch up with them, a few more high-quality additions could keep things interesting. Instead, Liverpool's roster hasn't changed much in the past four years. These are still the top-notch players we've been talking about, but things have been allowed to get a little stale. Add that staleness to physical fatigue, and that might be something in theory. Whatever the reason, Jurgen Klopp needs to find a way to fix this, and quickly. Maybe Klopp can go back to the 4-2-3-1 pattern by going through a lineup change. There should be more liveliness in the midfield and gaps between the lines should not be given. In addition, team defence must be prioritised. In the Napoli match, Joe Gomez delivered an almost infamous rest style and was wrong in all three goals conceded. It's definitely time for Joel Matip to return to the team. Moreover, I think Arthur Mello should take the stage now in the midfield. I think Carvalho's playing in front of Fabinho and Melo after recovering from his injury will both make him feel comfortable and help the team's offensive diversity. It is also imperative that Mohamed Salah return to his former form. As the Egyptian star was entering the final year of his contract this season, his contract was extended in the summer and everyone's fears were over. However, Salah is definitely not in his old form and now needs to raise his head.